Kim Kardashian cries to her family about never wanting to be involved with Kanye West again. Kim Kardashian recently opened up about the end of her marriage to Kanye West in an upcoming episode of The Kardashians. Today your divorce was final. Yeah. I don't know how Kim handles everything with her ex-husband. I don't think you realize the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Despite having gone through a period of grieving, it was evident from the preview that Kim is still sentimental about their past relationship. She was seen painfully shifting through musical equipment she believes belonged to Kanye in a storage warehouse, and admitted, this is me holding on to the Kanye that I know, but when you know it can never get back there, that's what sucks and that's what's hard. Kim Kardashian recently shared her struggles with her ex-husband Kanye West's outbursts in an emotional chat with her sister Chloe. Kim expressed her regret and heartache at the disconnect between the person she married and who he is now. It's really confusing for me. It's so different than the person that I married because that's who I loved and that's who I remember. Saying that she often searches for any glimpse of the former person in hopes of restoring the relationship. I'll do anything to get that person back. Kim admits that she hasn't had the difficult conversation with Kanye about his troubling anti-Semitic rants as she fears that it will trigger yet another outburst from him. Despite having to cope with such a situation, Kim still feels remorseful for her ex-husband and believes that he does not have any sense of what he has been doing wrong. I feel guilty that I posted something in support of the Jewish community, then people dropped him today, and I'm like, is that my fault? That like, no, I posted that, and did that like push them? I'm sure you guys know Kim filed to divorce Kanye way back in February 2021. And for about eight months after that, it seemed as if everything between the couple were good. That was until Kim started dating Pete Davidson in late October 2021, and things eventually came crumbling down as Kanye began discussing the divorce more publicly than ever. By February, he started harassing both Kim and Pete on social media, sharing their private messages and even threatening acts of physical violence. As he tried to win Kim back, he continued to talk publicly about the couple all the way until their eventual split in August 2022. According to an insider source who was present at the game, Kim was repeatedly trying to gain Kanye's attention, either by sending her kids or by calling Kanye herself. And none of that seemed to work. Having first connected in 2011, the couple welcomed their first daughter North in June 2013 before going on to exchange vows in 2014. Later, they added three more children to the family, Saint, Chicago, and Song. Kim and Chris were discussing the difficult situation that Kim has found herself in since her split from Kanye, as his public behavior has become increasingly erratic. Kim tearfully admitted that it feels like she is stuck with this for life, to which Chris reminded her that it isn't her job to control him anymore and that he's doing this to himself. In her confessional, Kim revealed that she still holds back from expressing her true feelings about Kanye for the sake of their four young children who don't know the extent of their father's behavior. She continued by saying how she used to be a cleanup crew spending hours trying to protect him from criticism. I definitely protected him and I still will in the eyes of my kids, for my kids. But now it feels like he, if he needs to hit rock bottom, then it's his journey he needs to figure out on his own. The divorce has been tough on Kim as she has witnessed Kanye change so drastically from when they married back in 2011. The reality star is no longer able to bear the energy needed and is content to have a different life going forward. Kim Kardashian finalized her divorce from Kanye West after years of ups and downs in their union, which included countless headlines surrounding Kanye's. Kim has since moved forward with her life, but appears she can't let go of memories from her time spent with him. Hence her visit to the storage facility where his equipment is being kept. Her words seem to suggest a sense of longing for what could have been had circumstances been different prior to their split. How do you guys feel about this notorious couple's split? Do you think they should try to make amends or if they should just let it be? Make sure to let us know in the comments down below and make sure to like and share. I apologize for losing my voice and we will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.